What's up, folks? It is the True Vapor Show. Yes, True Vapor Show number 65. And yes, my whole crew, my whole posse has abandoned me today. So, but we do have a new face in the spotlight here. Oh, we've got a gentleman new into the YouTube game. So I'm going to go ahead and present him and let him take it away. Oh, well, there's one person just hopped. There's Daniel. Uh, but yeah, well, we got a new gentleman on here. So tell him who you are and take it away. What's going on, everybody? What you vaping on? Down to be vaping. Uh, thank you for letting me come on and talk to everybody and spend some time with you. It's going to be great. You want me to show you what I'm vaping on or what? Oh, yeah. Well, first and foremost, I got the Goon, of course, on my Lux 215, which thanks to daniel son, told me there's no way in hell that's going to happen. Mm. <laughs> 215 watts, that is. Got the Dual 26650. Mm. I got my uh, Loopy Lector in it. And then uh, I've also got the Relia. 200 in two mode or the two third in two mode with the Clito 120 on top and it does 120. I run it at 106 and it's fantastic. And I'm running the, um, let's see, exclusive collection from Emerald Vapors and it's the Bam Bam. Run that there. And then I've got my LMS box mod here with the Limitless 24 Addy on top with some Mr. Glenn Biven coils on there. Aliens, pretty dope. And uh, I'm rocking some of my uh, Frenchman in there, which is a strawberry French toast with whipped cream, syrup, and butter. And oh, yeah. Nice. So anyway. Nice. All right. Uh, and the man himself, Mr. DJ. Take it away, brother. Hello, guys. Sorry I fell asleep in the couch. Uh, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Uh, today I'm going to be vaping, uh, I'm going to be vaping on the k V5, uh, still one of my favorite atomizers for flavor these days, uh, on top of the IPv6X Revision 3, uh, inside of this one I'm vaping some Dinner Lady Rice pudding it, it is actually pretty much gone uh, so good it is i will be also vaping on the fantastic obs engine on top of uh, an ipv6x revision 2 inside of this one i'm vaping some my man then i will be also vaping on the griffin 25 plus on top of the alien mod by smog and inside of this one i have some strawberry glazed donut by royal vape e liquids and then last but not least i'm also vaping on another kfan v5 on top of the evic vtc dual in dual configuration and still a really fancy clock Anyway, inside of this one, I'm vaping some strawberry submission by a dirty liquid. And that's pretty much it. Take it away, SD. All right. Well, today, I'm going to keep it real short and sweet on what I'm vaping. Uh, I just got my OBS engine in last night. So I threw a build on it. It is sitting on top of the Boss 3000 XL. And in that, I am running course little royal custard uh donut custard hold on i'm still trying to get my shit together real quick oh shit okay there's my boy mr fagan just texted me telling me he's running a couple minutes late so he'll be here in a sec so uh all right let me get this one out the way real quick while i'm thinking about it um uh, next week uh, we're going down to Andrew's one-year anniversary, Heavy Metal Vapor. So I'm going to change the day of the show next week. Next week, we will be on at Wednesday at 10 a.m. Uh, I think Daniel's also got some things going on next week. He's going to uh, 
an expo flying to the flying to UK. That's right. So, um, so next week, 10 a.m. I'll probably say it a couple times throughout the show, but uh, next Thursday I've got stuff to get ready, and that's about my only time frame I can get ready would be during the show. So, all right. Uh, what else have we got going on? I think that's about it. So, we so tell us what you're vaping on. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> I kept it short and sweet today, Daniel. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, we've we've come across a new gentleman out here, uh, Donnie B. Uh, I actually had a chance to meet him on the after show on Sunday night after Mark's show. Uh, real nice guy. So I'm going to let him kind of tell about himself somewhat and uh what's what he's about and what he's into so don i'm gonna put you on the spotlight again for a little bit all right that's not uh intimidating or anything <laughs> <laughs> hey, Donnie, just come on. uh yeah so anyway just i guess i'll start from the beginning really because nobody knows who the hell i am <clears throat> so yeah donnie b vape and that's my screen name my name is actually don buell but I vape, so Donnie B. Vaping just kind of makes sense. Like you said, Donnie B. likes dudes. Yes, I love dudes, Gary. I like <laughs> you. <laughs> Free hugs from Chewy, man. Look at that. So, uh, yeah, I started vaping like four years ago. Didn't get into it seriously until I like, did my research and actually got a good device. And then that's that took me about three months to really figure shit out and do my research, you know. Once I did that, I swashed cigarettes. And then, like, the day that I puffed on my advanced device and realized I'd never pick up a cigarette because I quit that day. Like when I had my advanced device and realized I could be satisfied. Quit that day and I at the same time quickly realized that it wasn't going to last very long, that I was going to have to fight for this shit for the, pretty much the rest of my life. You know, there's no, it's too good to be true, man. It really is. Like I knew I would never stop smoking cigarettes. This has saved my life. <laughs> Nice. You know, so now I'm going to dedicate what free time I have. And now I actually work in the industry. So I'm dedicating. Tw I spent four hours sleeping last night and four hours a night before and just been doing vape hardcore, dude. So I'm in it to win it, man, because I'm ready to give back. So I thought of the meme fight to vape, which is fighting in the number two vape, uh, that hashtag and then the hashtag fight to vape for life. Uh, buddy of mine, Jeremy, shout out to Jeremy and Andrew. Uh, they run the Fight to Vape community for me. They're the admin and moderator. Um, so that's a thing now. Um, I actually finalized the shirt design yesterday. I wish I had a shirt to wear right now because for some reason you think you have a shirt like you're legit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, oh, my God, it's a real thing. Well, it's, it's a manifestation of it. So it really is, you know, does really make it a concrete thing. So I got it finalized. Uh, I showed it off on my stream yesterday on my YouTube channel, Donnie B. Vapen. And uh, everybody was really excited. I don't have that many viewers, you know, but I'm really trying really hard and everybody's real supportive and everything. So fight to vape needs to be, I want it to be a pillar of the community because it needs to stand for much more than just, oh, let's vape and blow clouds, bro. Yeah, that's tight. You know, it needs to, we need to fight for this because right now we're divided and we need to come together as a whole. We need to be one voice and one community, not juice companies against juice companies and oh, who's saying this bullshit and who's saying that bullshit. Forget all that, man. All that shit is irrelevant. That's so trivial. What we need to focus on is our constitutional rights as human beings, because that's what this is really about in essence. They've overstepped their bounds in every way, shape and form. And I want fights to vape to mean something. But in order to do that, obviously we need freaking funding. Uh, so I'm trying really hard to put everything I can into it. And uh, hopefully uh, if I can get the shirts and a little bit of merchandise made, um, uh, every portion of the proceeds that can be donated to advocacy and particularly Mr. Larry Faircloth and the FDA uh, fight that's going on right now, we need a lot of money to support that. And that's the main focus that I want fight to vape to be about at this point. Like I want that to be the first move because I think that's the right first move. You know what I mean? Nice. So that's what I want Fight to Vape to be about. And I think that if everybody can contribute just a little bit of their time just to, to like the page or to just say hi or to go maybe talk to their, their relatives who might smoke cigarettes and get them off smoking and just get them a device or just get them to think about it. Because even if they're thinking about stopping smoking, they might mention it to a friend and they might mention it to another friend. And the next thing you know, the domino effect has happened and we're affecting the community. 
So I'm just excited to to be here and to uh, to talk to you guys. And I always tell Daniel this, like Daniel, I'm a huge fan of Daniel, so <laughs> I always tell Daniel, man, I always watch all of his stuff and everything. So um, it's really good to talk to ST, and I, you know, just can't wait to talk to everybody a lot more about uh, what's going on, you know, about keeping, uh, you know, child-friendly advertising away from the community, anything that we can keep the FDA off our asses with, don't give them any ammunition. That's part of what I want Fight to Vape to be about, too. And everybody's doing that as well, you know. A lot of people are doing that. But we need everybody to do it as one, not divided and, and being conquered by these assholes. So, Definitely. sorry. I'm sorry for ranting. Uh, I really am. But no, I'm fine. passionate you're fine. about it, bro. <laughs> uh, so you have a YouTube channel. Why don't you uh, tell us about your channel and what you, what you got going there? You, you kind of – you're taking things a little in a different step there, right? Yeah, so you see the green screen behind me, and um, I have a – Donnie joined the fight for dicks. <laughs> <laughs> dicks in your ass. Now, um, so, yeah, this green screen behind me, this is where I'll drop, like, um, if I want to go over any kind of news, I'll drop it up behind me, and we'll go over it, really focus on it, you know, kind of have a little bit different take on the news, and then uh, I just try to switch it up, and then anything I do, like builds or – any kind of showing off of the device, I'll actually have me in the bottom corner, kind of like a game streaming, have me in the bottom corner, and then I'll have the build in my hands big up behind me on the screen so you can actually see the build and what I'm doing at the same time watch me be stupid pretty much because I'm kind of dumb. But, you know, <laughs> I'll drop the link in the uh, chat if you want me to. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so I'm trying to pay attention to chat here a little bit too. Uh Take it Dutch away, Dutch brought it up. Uh, bring him back, derailed. Uh, derailed <laughs> is uh, derailed's gone, kids. We uh, we've decided that maybe down the road, and it, it probably will happen. But uh, drop in, the links there for me, Andrew. In the future, uh, we're probably going to let that one. We're actually letting the derailed show go. It's been gone. Uh, we're just probably going to create a new channel. So uh, that'll that'll happen in time. And of course, whenever we do it, you will definitely get notifications when that happens. So uh, I love you too, Mister Adam. I see you out there, vaporized <laughs> nomads, running running scarce out there. Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like derailed was scheduled so many Saturdays was getting, I don't know, so forced, kind it, of. It, it was. It was. Uh, yeah. People people enjoyed it, but it was getting to the point to where we were constantly pushing at it, and it was really just something that we were going to do whenever we were in the mood to do it. Yeah. And then it was kind of like, you know, you felt like we started having to do it almost every Saturday, and it just it got to be a little too much. So we, we kind of got away from it for a bit, but... Uh, uh man let's talk about next what's going to happen next week because I'm, I'm getting excited myself uh so a bunch of us are going to be meeting down again in mobile alabama for andrew's one year anniversary at his shop Southside vaporium uh gonna be a decent amount of us there i don't know the exact count of who all is going to be there but i know that uh Myself, uh, I know Mike Vapes and Phenom are going to be there. What's up? I was Andrew's out there in chat. What's going on, Andrew? Uh, yeah, like I said, quite a few. There's there's quite a few that aren't going to get to go that I'm kind of like, damn, you know, I wish they could be there. But for everybody that can make it, uh, it'll be good to see because uh, we've, kind of talked behind the scenes a little bit and you know this might be uh it won't be the last time we see one another but i, I got a feeling it's going to be a good while before we do get to see each other again so uh expos and you know conventions and stuff are kind of you know having the brakes put on them a little bit uh yep fagan's supposed to be there too even though uh I haven't had the hundred percent confirmation that he's going to be, but he's supposed to be there. Uh, he's got to be there so I can whoop up on him. So, but uh, I, yeah. I'm 
Uh, I will be being the asshole of the group, and instead of going to Alabama, <laughs> I'm going to UK for a vape convention. Yeah, Daniel, Daniel's jetting out to the UK, honest, but I understand he, you're going to actually be working there, correct? Yeah, I will. I will. That'll be nice. That's actually the European side now, and having so many reviewers, all the other reviewers com coming to Europe to every single convention, I think is going to be the next step for some of you starting oh. to come to Europe to conventions, I guess. I yeah. Or I hope so. <laughs> yeah, we're all going to start jetting over to Europe here pretty soon. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, Daniel's going to have enough in his bank account to get us all over there. But uh, Have you been over there before, ST? Have you been to Europe at all? No, never been to Europe. I've been to Amsterdam, and it was amazing. Life-changing. You got to go. Well, Amsterdam is... Definitely life changing. It doesn't oh. represent the other countries. But... <laughs> well, I didn't mean you have to go to Amsterdam, although I highly recommend it. But uh, you know, if you, you need to, you know, travel broadens the mind, so you need to experience different lands as far as I'm concerned. Man, it's yeah. amazing over there, dude. Really I've, I've been all over this country, but uh, as of stepping over there, no, I haven't. Uh, would I do it right now? It would be fun, but I guess there's just so many things going on out there in the world. Don't go to you know? France, man. Don't go to France. Yeah, definitely. So, well, look who showed up. What's Good up, morning. Sunshine? How you doing? Hey, yo, sleeping ass. Good, yeah. <laughs> I was up at 5.30 in the morning, so I was up and ready. Damn, well, well I'll start, I'm going to start the show from here on out at 5.30 and 6 in the morning, just so Mark will definitely be here on time. I was up at 5.30. I'm like, I'm just going to lay down at, for one second at 9 o'clock. You know that never works. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sure enough, it's like 10 something. Like, holy shit. I also fell asleep in the couch. So. All right. I don't feel bad then. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on, Mr. Fagan? Not a damn thing. Um, nothing. Just vaping on my new favorite mod, the uh, the Maxo. Oh, my it God. is. I love Holy this thing. Shit. First of all, why are you loving it so much? Because, let's see, I was vaping it. When did I get it? Uh, I got it at like 9 o'clock in the morning, and I vaped it sh like nonstop until 3 p.m. the next day. And then the batteries went dead. Mm. Damn. Yeah, and, and keep in mind, like, I vape all day long until like 11 o'clock at night. So it went from yeah, like. That's why I said, damn. Yeah. This thing was going strong. So it's even better than your boss mod? I don't know. I just fucking battery life on this thing. <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I know Adam's out there right now. That's really why I had to throw that in. <laughs> yeah, the battery life on this thing is fucking crazy. Nice. I like that shirt, Mark. You like what it? Say? Yeah, that's my new favorite shirt. That's great, man. I'll give you the Chewy Free Hug shirt. Let me have that shirt. <laughs> this is you, Mark. Free hugs. Don, FDFDA. How did he get on the show? What happened? I don't. Well, I, my, everybody bailed on me at the last minute. I said, "Shit, I gotta find." Somebody. He picked me up on the corner. I was hitchhiking. He was like, "Hey, man, you want a job real quick? I gotta shoot this crazy show." Oh man, <laughs> Mark, I got this in last night. This OBS engine, and dude, it is fucking nice. I'm liking it. It is our often. This is probably going to be my new go-to RTA now until something else better comes out. So. I'm Ted the Jetty, by the way, guys. With all your OBS engines, and I got nothing. But the I think I think OBS. <laughs> I think OBS kind of restarted the trend on RTAs a while ago with the Krius, yeah. and now they redid everything again, and it's it's amazing again. Top airflow on this thing uh, is one thing I'm liking because it's it's sufficient enough airflow on it. But what I love about it, I don't normally carry an RTA out with me, like when I go to work or anything like that. Just for the simple fact that if I do get that slight messed up wick job on it or something, it's going to start leaking on me. And that's why I just normally take a sub on tank when I go to work or something. But I feel comfortable enough with this. I mean, you're not going to get any leaking out of it. So, I mean, this is the perfect one to take out and about. So, and it's, man, it's nice. I like everything about it. Me too. I haven't used thing. mine since the video I did, but I think I loved it. But the only thing I hated was I kept, had, I had to refill it a lot. 
Like it went through. Like I don't know how many mils it holds, but it's uh, five point two. Is it five point two? I was able yep. to fit five point five, really wow. carefully. Yeah, really carefully. Five point five, and then just close it. Re really, really carefully, and you are going to be able to fit five point five. Nice. It, it sure doesn't look like it would hold that, but yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> I was so surprised. Because I thought maybe around 3.5, maybe, yep. but yeah. So, Mr. Fagan, I know you've been getting some goodies in this week other than, I still, I, I, there's just something about that mod, man. There, I just, I guess I wasn't a big fan of the disguiser at all, and yeah. it just reminds me so much of that, that it's oh, kind of yeah, like, it's, ugh. It's identical know. to the disguiser. It's gonna be like this. It's almost the same body style. I don't know. I just I like it for the battery life and for how simple it is. Yeah, like the it's just it's really simple, but it is big. What is the uh, what is that one? It goes up to what two? Oh no, three thirteen, right? <laughs> three fifteen. Three fifteen. Shit. Yeah. I'll never. I'm using it ninety watts with that tornado. This tornado tank's awesome, but. Um, I noticed vaping at 100 watts, like on the second day, I start getting kind of like burnish hits off the coil head. But oh, the tank man. is pretty, still a tank is pretty awesome, though. Nice. Woo, well. Also, there's some crazy shit going down there in Florida and their kids, like uh, major hurricanes going to hit down there. So mm. I hope all our viewers down there are prepared for whatever they need to be doing actually your ass needs to be gone by now but wait i thought it was gonna hit like two days ago well no it's supposed to hit this evening i believe in florida so uh i would probably stick around for that <laughs> yeah i bet you would and as soon as that damn house starts to rock a little bit your ass either gonna be crying wishing you were the fuck out of there or mama mama <laughs> come get me mama oh shit your baby needs you <laughs> We have been in touch with a few folks down there that actually hang out in the lounge that live down that way. One's directly in the path of it. And uh, I he's think he's scary. Michael? Yeah, Michael. No. Michael, I think he, and he said he was going to stay too. So I'm kind of like, man, I hope everything goes good. Yeah. Damn. Anybody, anybody, from anybody that you all know down there? Well, I only, the only people I know down there are just, uh, well, I do know a few folks, but. Uh, like in this community, other than the folks that have been hanging out in the lounge, that's about. Man, I hope everybody's all right. Uh, damn, Mark. Somebody said, "Don't worry, Mark. Uh, shit floats." Damn. So, uh, <laughs> damn. So I guess that's good morning to you, man. <laughs> that was rough. That was. I, I can tell you right now, I don't float. I go straight to the bottom, buddy. There you go. I've tried to float before, and it does not happen. <laughs> Did you happen to get in that new uh, 250 yet? 250. Oh, the what you gonna call it? The, the HDR? Yeah. No, he says he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm sending, I'm sending you the new DNA. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. So then I get the package, and this fucking thing shows up. The new DNA 75, which is like a complete ripoff of the Lost Vape. <laughs> yeah, it's like a loss. It's a cheap Lost Vape clone. Golly. I'm like, I thought you were sending the 250. Not that if I would have known he was sending this, I would have told him no, don't send it. So basically, they started to clone again. Yeah, okay. this is just like, <laughs> just like the Lost Fate one, but I prefer the Lost Fate one over this. How's the squonk work on it? I haven't even used it. <laughs> I haven't even touched it. I'm like, uh, why am I gonna? Like, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I find myself never using the squonk on any device I get, ever. I like the squonk. Like, I want a squonk, but the battery life is just so shitty on these devices. But one battery, like. Yeah. Uh, mm. I agree. Like a two or three body squonk, but yeah, I like the squonk, but the the battery just so shitty on these. Oh yeah. And to be honest, I've been rocking the twenty six six fifties, man, and because I've been doing a lot of driving lately, so those things last me like a day and a half, two days sometimes. Do they? It's, I've just been kind of growing on me and been sticking with it as much as I can. I mean, they take a while to recharge, but it's worth it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't leave the house, but still, this thing like with the four batteries in it, man, holy shit. Yeah, I've been eyeballing that Too thing, man. Sure. It's how awesome. Much, how much are they going for again? What was it, like 80 bucks or something? 69 or 79 or something like that, yeah. I think. 
it just i don't know it's like overkill though i mean oh three you know what is it 315 what yeah 315 yeah. watts is it true to... though can you actually that'd be daniel daniel i don't know <laughs> daniel's i don't know Maiden should be coming oh, anytime right. wait mark's got it before it all oh, uh it was holiday yesterday was holiday here oh, so okay. no one works no one delivers anything but one thing I don't get is you can run it on two batteries and it still goes to 315 at two batteries. Yeah, so there's some bullshit going on. Yeah, I don't understand that. Hmm. I got a feeling with four batteries, the most it's going to come in at. I'm just going to I'm gonna place my bet before Daniel even gets a fucking test in. I'm going to say... I'm going to say 250. That's what I'll say. I'm going to go... I'm going to take it a step higher. I'm going to say he'll get right at 289 off of it. 289 is my number. We got bad school. I don't think we will get more than 250. Damn. Anyway, I'm just, just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. To answer Vapor Jeeper, it's 26650 or 18650. It comes with the sleeves where you can convert it to 218650. Oh, that's the whatchamacallit? The um, Lux box. Lux, Lux, Lux. Lux. Yeah. Oh, hold on now. That's Brandon. Brandon, I thought you had one. I think Brandon trying to be funny out there or something. But anyway, all right. Here's the segment of the show where uh, we get into the title. And as you can see, the title is <coughs> Clowns and Vaping. <laughs> Clowns oh. and Vaping. Clowns and Vaping. My so. favorite and most hated thing at the same time. <laughs> So lately, we've had a uh, rash sighting across the United States of uh, clowns <laughs> not doing what they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> and actually, I was just bored, and I just named it that. Clowns of vaping don't have shit to do with anything. So, But I just thought it'd be a cool title. So anyway, there's the portion of the clowns. Uh, if you see a clown, I didn't tell you to do this, but just go up and knock the shit out of them. They're probably up to no good. So... Uh, Poor clowns. Hell yeah. You know, all the clown shit that's been going on in my area, every time I get a damn news alert, it's about a clown that's done some, robbed a bank or done some stupid ass shit. So, uh, serious? oh yeah, dude, it's, 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 it's going on all over the freaking country right now. Dude, it's ever since shit. that movie, it, uh, I swear off clowns ever since the movie, it, dude. <laughs> it, dude. Oh, Shit, haunted my dreams. That and the movie Arachnophobia. Remember John Goodman? He sprayed the the, the freaking spider, and then it yep. got back up and was like, "Yeah, fuck that stuff," and then just walked away. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, that part! And then the <laughs> spider in the shower head. <laughs> oh. I couldn't watch that movie just because I can't really do spiders. So yeah, yeah, I'm a sissy. <laughs> Mark, uh, I guess I'll ask you for the millionth time. Uh, so you joining us next week? I don't want to go. Well, I'm going to put it this way. It's not that I don't want to go. I don't want to go on the car drive, but my wife really wants to go so bad, so I guess I'm going to have to go. Let's put it that oh, okay. way. Well, that's all I need to hear then. Yeah. We do have one that's not going that I'm I'm kind of a little upset about. Slim's not going. I thought Slim was going. Well, some stuff, I guess, has come up, and uh, she's not going to make it. There's going to be a lot of people at the very last minute be like, oh, man, I couldn't make it. <laughs> I, just, I had that feeling. What's oh, going on? shit. Hold on. Adam just sent me a, a text with a pic, and this one's for you, Mark. He just made a Boss XL250 swamp oh, box for you. What the uh, Is there, like, a bottle attached to it? <laughs> there it is, folks. <laughs> <laughs> there you that's go. perfect so, I love it $600 yeah. I love it there you go that's a good one Adam we'll uh, we'll want to say that on your site here pretty soon so Make it I want that bottle of anodized blue and etched in gold hell yeah <laughs> so other than that oh by the way hell I'm just see I, I don't have shit to talk about now I got I feel like I got a little bit more this week um, so I asked everybody to send me an email over the week just to kind of give me some ideas, you know, something that you'd like to see, maybe changing things up. And, uh, I got a bunch of great emails in, um, uh, 
a good majority of them basically was just shooting towards the fact that, hey, why don't you bring some guests on from chat? And, and you know, I think we've kind of done that in the past a little bit, but the only thing about it, and it's just like we talked on Mark's show, it requires a little bit of a screening to make sure that somebody's just not going to jump on here and either just sit and not say crap. Uh, we like to see how their connection is. If they got a decent one, we don't want somebody that sounds robotic on here or something like that. You know, I mean, if you're going to participate in the show, we want you to at least have, you know, some decent camera. And uh, so uh, that's probably going to come here in the future. You know, we'll we'll do a little bit of that going around, but I'm still pretty much sticking to the panel I've got. Um, even though I've got two out of commission right now, you know, Daryl is supposed to be back probably mid October. Um, and I don't know when Zach will be back. Uh, you know, Zach's in rebuilding phase down in Louisiana right now. So, uh, we haven't, I haven't even had a chance to talk to him for a good while. So hold on. Let me see what Addy's writing. <laughs> oh, it's like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> have to bring, Addy, I'd bring you on the show, but you work. Uh, uh, well, I say you work during the day, but hell, you're in the lounge half the time. But if you got something going on, you're constantly going to have to keep coming off screen. So that's the reason why I've never asked. But he's in his Cadillac right now. Damn, he is in a caddy out riding. <laughs> so, but did you guys uh, get this amazing email from um, Dinner Lady? It's yeah. like a uh, couple paragraphs long telling you exactly how to do it and where yep. to put it. And wow, they're asking for an awful lot, I tell you, for a bottle of juice. Exactly. Well, it's what it's it's two <laughs> bottles, and it? it's the rice pudding and the Well, the lemon tart we already have. Yeah. And yeah, they just want so much. And I'm at the very bottom, I'm waiting for this waiting for the paragraph that says and in return, we're going to do this, but I don't see that paragraph. All I see is, you should do all this shit. Wow, they were pretty confident on their liquid. Yeah. They make it, their lemon tart's awesome, but... <laughs> Wait to try the the new the rice, rice pudding. pudding. Yeah. It's, oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I mean, well, the thing that I heard from them the first time they contacted us was... Um, they wanted us to do all these guidelines to a video because they want to put it on their site and I guess have multiple videos that you could look through to see the reviews. But yeah, they want aprons on, they want this, they want that. Mm. That's mm. like, man, come on now. Aprons on? Yeah, what? they're gonna they're gonna send like dinner lady aprons. Like, hey, we're in the, in the review. Whoa. I got it. I got all my shit. Well, hold on. Uh, they give you a wig on? and an apron and stuff. You get the whole thing going yep. on. The lunchbox. The house life. <laughs> this house is how life this is how they send it to you right here in a lunchbox. In a lunchbox. And what? in that lunchbox, you get a little girly T-shirt. You get juices, which I've already gone through a few. And then in beneath that, you got a pretty <laughs> little yellow apron in there. And they want you to get decked out when you do your video. Yep. So I, I got the red one. Oh, oh did, did you? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn, you really got the good <laughs> one, man. So, <laughs> yeah. I think that is about the only company I've ever had contact me that really went that extensive of, hey, I want this and I want it done like that, and blah, blah, blah. I think when the juice comes, I'm going to review it sitting on a toilet. And it's <laughs> yeah. completely no, opposite we, of what they want. No, I think wearing that, you should be cooking. <laughs> no, I'll get to get all you guys get together on the stream and all wear your aprons and just the aprons and then Every, review it. That would be amazing. We'd probably lose some folks there, I think, on that deal. But, uh, <laughs> we just shoot it from, you know, the breast of the sup, you know what I mean? Yeah, well. I don't think that apron's going to wrap around me enough. That's the point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, it's a good size apron. So uh, I know one night me and Brian were kind of going back and forth at each other about some Whoa. shit. And he threw his on, and I said, hell with it. I'm going to throw mine on. And it managed to get around my big ass. So I would have paid money to have seen that, by the way. <laughs> That would have been amazing. Oh, shit. 
but uh, you know, yeah, the, 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 peanut butter and ray guys or peanut butter and jelly i'm sorry peanut butter and jelly vapes i've never vaped one before have you guys oh yeah uh yeah. there's one good one out there i forgot the name of it the the pb and j we got from uh vape society supply it yeah that's is a uh, peanut butter and strawberry jam that is an awesome one right there i went through my bottle pretty quick another good one out there is uh what is it stash stash yeah stash makes a good peanut butter i heard I'm yeah telling. yeah what is it the what? pb pb and jesus or whatever something PB like that and jesus that's yeah. awesome i'm gonna try it just for that the only one that i've tried and what i've liked so far is the pb and ray from emerald that's pretty good but i'm curious to try other ones now because you know i try one peanut butter and jelly and i'm like oh my god that tastes like that i wonder what other people have done too you know what i mean yeah they there's Oof. I've tried, I think, three that I've really liked. I think Andrew, uh, Andrew's pretty big into the uh, PB&J stuff, so he probably knows a lot of the good ones out there. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm starting to see some names fly up right now. Bad Chuck Dust. Yeah, they've got a good one also. Huh. Oh. Charlie's Chalk Dust. You ain't got your awesome green screen going on? What the hell is this? Uh, yeah, I can't get it. I can't. This is low budget right here. <laughs> oh, 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 the uh, PB and Jesus is made by Charlie Chalk. That's right. That's right. My bad. Uh, Stash does just a, a, a different one. So, yeah, that's right. Thanks for the correction. Did you guys hear about, um, it was over California, I think, there was a green light that was seen streaking through the sky, like almost the color of my green screen, actually. It just, it was like an instantaneous thing, this huge, giant, like several mile long green streak, and then disappeared. Nobody knows what the hell it was. Damn. Nothing. It's crazy, man. I've watched the video on YouTube. You could YouTube uh, green streak through sky, and you'll see it, man. It, they have to slow it down because it happened so quickly. It's wow. Nuts. Yeah. Aliens, probably. Yeah, it could be, or like like something going through dimensions. You know, like you just see it for a second, snap into our dimension for a brief wow. moment. And probably too back. much acid. Oh, yeah. do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Combination of the two. <laughs> Take it away. Take it away. Oh, that's acid. it. That's it. Sasha just got it by snap. That's the one we got from Vape Society Supply. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Where's Mikey Bates at? I'm surprised he ain't floating around here. Crazy ass. He was still in bed when I got out. He was like, sleeping in the lower bunk. Oh, <laughs> y'all had a long night. <laughs> yep, long night. Damn. Ghost stories and checking our peepees for bumps. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> Mike Bates just timed somebody out, so I guess he's out there watching. <laughs> Damn. He just typed Gary out. <laughs> nice. So I was checking out an article, and uh, so I just caught it real quick, though. In a, in a work session, majority of council city members, uh, they're gonna they're interested in allowing electronic cigarettes to be used in public indoor places. And I'm trying to find out where this is, but this is like a huge win for the vaping industry. You know, they're actually considering making this move where they'll allow e-cigarettes, you know, because we're not for, Nazi Germany. For where, again? In public. public indoor places. But, I mean, for for what state? For everywhere or what? That's, that's what I'm trying to find out. I, I've been looking at it and looking at it. You know, we tend to be kind of long-winded on these things. So. Yeah, because we still do a lot of stealthing in places, probably where we're not supposed to be doing it. Yeah, it's tough. Usually yeah, in the I've, hospital, police station, courthouse, uh, airplane. <laughs> <laughs> it's Whatever tough, Mark, anyway. <laughs> when Mark flies, he just he just sits back and hits the old vape. The first time I was on the I vaped in the Go ahead. Sorry, Mark. I vaped in the non smoking section in the casino the other day and everybody around me was staring at me because this gigantic cloud of vapor came out, but there's nothing else around me. And I was wondering why they were staring at me, and I didn't realize I was in the no-smoking area. So, <laughs> yeah, that was very uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. When I flew for the first time, I didn't realize, like, how um, how strict the, the law was for vaping on a plane. I just thought, you know, if they catch you vaping, they say, oh, no, don't do that, and they just put it back in your pocket. 
and I vaped on a plane when I was flying. I was holding it in, and then when I got right. back, I realized, holy shit, that was like the stupidest thing I could have ever done. Yeah. Mm. I was and, still sitting in my seat. <laughs> and so what does he do again? He just he flies again and just goes in the airport bathroom and hits the shit in the stalls. So. Well, that's different. You're at least you're on the ground. So. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want them to land the plane because I was vaping. You could get a bomb in the bathroom or something. So just exactly. boiling out of the what do you got going on there? It's just a vape, I promise. Hey, I did happen to catch a picture this morning on Facebook. It appears that uh, Brian and Amy are coming back, and it looks like their luggage got kicked over to the side again to be uh, searched a little bit more. Damn. You must be on the, on the shit list with them. He must be. Uh which I know what he took down there. If he only took those two mods that he had posted the picture of, he's not going to have long to wait. And even if they confiscated those, he would not be butt hurt at all about that. But uh, I just like keep them. I don't care. Yeah, he sure seems to get hit at the airport. So, God, I still remember that shit when we were in Vegas. He had all that shit get swiped up from him, but. Uh, Emilio Munez. Uh, I'm not aware of that. I don't. He told me it wasn't. It would be available this year. I don't know unless there's a long wait list until, and that's why you have to wait until next year. That could be the reason, but um, I'm not sure. He didn't tell me that. Oh, on the Ghost V3. Yeah, unless there's like a, a long list because I know he only makes them in small batches, so maybe. He meant you won't get yours until the beginning of next year. I'm not sure. When's the last time you talked to him? Uh, two weeks ago. Okay. I don't think. I think after my video, he wasn't. I don't know. He wasn't very happy with me because I thought it was a little bit kind of priced too high. Because the original it? one was like, the original one was like ninety dollars, and I think the new one's like one forty or one fifty. Wow. And I. I was talking to him about like why why is the price so much higher on this one? And he's just like it's a lot more work involved. And I'm like, Yeah, people are not gonna like that too much. And I just really didn't agree with the price increase. Nice nice atomizer, but I just didn't agree with the price increase. Compare that one to the goon. Which oh, one wins? I don't know. I love them well the ghost v two and the goon, I love them both evenly. I couldn't really compare the two. The three on the other hand, like I don't know. I love it, but I don't love it as much as the two for yeah, some reason. I don't know why, but it's still a nice atomizer, but I don't know. It just the ghost mark. Is there a V3 ghost? Yeah. So why do, you like, why do you like the, the V2 over the three? Because the, the, the three is more of like a RDTA. Hold on. Where is my net? Hmm. You can tell I've been using it a lot because I don't have it within reach. Uh -huh. It's probably down in the fucking junk drawer. I like my goon. My goon's nice. Got a black one. Love my goon. Super. Love my goon. Oh, shit. Look, I lost it. Oh, damn. It's gone forever, baby. It might have went out in one of the the BOSs. <laughs> no. <laughs> forever, ever, Mark? It's gone forever, ever? Ever, ever, baby. Damn, I hope you didn't do a BOS on that one. No, I don't think I'd be that stupid. <laughs> Holy shit. Daniel San, what's the next uh, big mod you're looking forward to? The G class from EHE. Oh, yeah. The G class, like the G spot G -class. class. Oh. Yeah. How's your mini been working out? You still been using it or? Uh... Yep. So far, so good. I don't understand the menus because they are in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> but but the the smartphone app is in English, so I'm has been well, working that really we really well. What makes that one so much better, or is it just uh, because it's smaller than the Q class, but still two batteries, uh, nice. and not so much wasted space. Uh, nice. This one is still a little bit junky, but it's still a prototype. And then the 25 millimeter diameter 510 connector instead of only 23. Gonna ask 22 about and a half they and Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Cool. Yep. Mark, so, we're, we're into tomorrow now. You ain't got to look anymore. I, I actually got it. 
The reason I couldn't find it because I have the Ghost Three cap on my two. It's kind of backwards, but all right. So I don't here. see how you find anything, Mark. Good lord, man! You just look at that wall and get overwhelmed. <laughs> I try to stay organized, but so here's the. That's the. Oh, there we go. That's the two. Just a regular four post RDA, nice and big. Right. No, and then the three is more like a. It's got a reservoir in there. Yeah. See, I like I would like the V two better too because, do you find that the RDTAs kind of have a hard time keeping up when they're Jenny style like that? That yeah, that and plus I don't know I just can't really find the perfect build for it. Like I put a build where the coil goes straight in the middle, and then I put a dual coil and I like the dual coil better, but. He made it to where these are like two chambers and not just one large chamber. I don't know, just something about that I didn't like. Huh. But I don't know, it just this one's 150 and the other one's like 90 bucks. And I just didn't really see the big price difference because they're almost like the same, except this has a little plastic tank. Right. I don't know. That was the only thing hmm. about it that it was, I don't know. Yeah, it is a little pricey. Uh, Adam made a. a, a pretty decent point he said it's not it's not really for the average vapor it's more for the uh person that might want to go out and spend a little bit more money on something <laughs> but was. but i mean if you make an I, I don't know that that could be you could take that a million ways i guess but well i'm yeah. just jelly over all the in the steam engines the obs's y'all got i want to get one of them man a top airflow i'm afraid to take rtas out too like you are st i mean yeah it's like uh, i think they'll leak everywhere especially like a 30 millimeter mason you have that full man you've got a problem if that exactly. leaks everywhere exactly. so to have that i really want that in my arsenal for sure it's definitely nice and uh i was i was telling tom last night in the lounge that um uh, I think Tom's got like two more showing up today, which is going to give him a total of like four or five of them. <laughs> and I, I was kind of like, you know what? I think I'm going to get another one too, just because, you know, just to be able to switch, switch them around and stuff. But I think I'm going to do a stainless too. But I love the black on here. The black looks sexy yeah. on that. Black That's goes good on anything pretty much I got. but Especially that, on that boss. Hell yeah. So you got to get you a boss mod there? Donnie? Me? Me, sir? Uh, I would love to get a boss mod dude, someday. Uh, someday, sir. Someday. But right now, I guess I'll, I'll vape on this. Uh, I've seen, Mark, I think you were talking about the, uh, the LMC24. I've been kind of messing with that with these crazy coils. Um, the rapscoils.com, they got some really nice coils. Uh, Glenn, he built these. And you can't really see the focus too well, and I don't want to mess with it, but you get the point. Um, these are uh, Fraples. And, uh, Fraple? Fraples. They're the framed oh, okay. stapled Clapton's where they take yeah. uh, ribbon wire, put it in the middle, then they put uh, uh, wire on each side of it, and then they wrap it with uh, alien wire. Wow. I believe it is. Damn. Yeah, that and RDA stapled. does really nice with really like hot, big builds. That's exactly why I put it on here. Because yeah. all that airflow that's on the top cap has to keep it cool. I was like, why do they have that? It's going to kill the flavor. It does kill a little bit of the flavor, but you have to have it. Otherwise, it's just going to get too damn hot. You know? mm -hmm. So That was a nice one they did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, I think... Sorry. No, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I was just going to... I was just looking at chat a little bit, and it appears that Greg and... Uh, yeah. Greg, Brandon, and Gary are having a good time playing today. <laughs> Timing out each one. Oh, uh, they just they're going back and forth having a good time. I, uh, I think, I think I finally found what I was actually expecting from the vapor games. Uh, what? Hold on, let me present you, Dan. Yeah, this is the one with Matt, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? <the fuck>? what? <laughs> Captain Matt, bro. Did yeah. he do what I thought he was going to do? Was, it, was he making fun of the vapor games? Because I was yeah. thinking about doing that. Son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He did I, wish, right. I wish you would have teamed up with me. That would have been fun. I was thinking about that yesterday when I I was watching the first episode of that vapor games show. And like, man, I should do something like just like a slap in the face and. Do like a you know Vapor Games episode two and just have me like doing something completely stupid, to where it would be like a slap in the face. I 
got to watch. Is it on his channel or is it on the Madden V channel? Yeah, it's on the last video. Yeah. Is it yeah. is it the Madden V channel they did that on? No, no, the main yeah. channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, just three or four seconds. I've actually been enjoying his uh, the Matt and V channel. They've been throwing up some pretty some interesting crazy. things on there. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, Matt's a pretty uh, pretty chunky dude. Yeah, yeah, I think I think we both got him beat though at the end yeah. of the day. <laughs> oh man, I haven't watched Matt in a long time, uh, but I like his videos. Yeah, Matt's a good guy. Uh. <laughs> Damn, Daniel Daniel's joining in all the shit. Woo, y'all giving Gary hell today, ain't you? <laughs> oh, Gary, message is deleted. Message deleted. Message deleted. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm going to say it again, folks, just so if, if somewhere you missed it up front, don't forget next week the show will be on Wednesday instead of Thursday. Same time, 10 a.m. Like I said, uh, I got some things to get wrapped up before I roll out on Friday. So uh, Thursday will be my day to do that because uh, I like to do things last minute. I don't like to be prepared. I like to pack and throw all my shit together in a couple hours, and that will be my couple hours I do it before I go to work. So, so don't forget. Don't be tripping out when you see the, the alert come out for Wednesday morning. But... Mm. And and next week, like I said, we're doing we're doing guest on here. Uh, next week's guest, very good possibility. Uh, and I want y'all to think about this, so you'll have some questions. I believe Mister Battery Mooch is going to come on next Wednesday, so nice. uh, he'll be on here. So if y'all want to ask questions about batteries and all that, it's not going to be an hour long show about batteries. <laughs> But if you have questions, please think about them, and then we'll uh, we'll turn it over to chat next week, and y'all can get that in. Uh, also, if I let him talk about batteries for a straight hour, Mark will probably be over there snoozing, and I got to keep him <laughs> awake. So <laughs> I'll break out in hives. The two things that Mark, uh, it's like throwing holy water on a demon, is uh, batteries. <laughs> And talk and advocacy for what three to four hours or so. Yep, <laughs> just gotta love it. Yep, you gotta throw. Yeah, Mark missed me being on in the beginning. Then <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it advocacy? Who's this guy again? Who the fuck's this guy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was late for a reason. Then I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mark, you got That's anything cool. special going on for uh, Sunday night? Uh, not to my knowledge. I don't think. Uh, not um, doing the uh you're not doing your big uh oh i think adam said he's gonna give away like what 10 boss mods or something oh nice <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm kidding folks they'll there be hitting go. me up later oh did y'all say something <laughs> adam's probably just throwing it threw everything up in there and he said hell with this shit i can't hang out with these guys anymore I can't uh, do it. i'm just kidding guys just kidding but uh yeah, we'll have a good time on there. Well, folks, we've hit the hour mark. Uh, we're going to get the hell out of here. So I will do some outros today since we got a guest on here. Uh, so take it away, Mr. Daniel. Thanks, everyone, for tuning on this amazing show. I will say goodbye to everyone. Everyone knows me, I guess. So I'll say goodbye just blowing a cloud. <laughs> Who's clouds? Who's clouds, Daniel? Do you swallow for clouds? Damn. Damn. Clouds? I got to meet this person, Cloud, to speak. Uh, got to be an interesting character. Take it away, Mark. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. It's been fun. Sorry I was late. Uh, thanks for having me. And uh, see you again soon. I still got the corky eyes going on, but nice, some nice. more coffee. Hi, Hi everybody. <laughs> and... The man himself. Take it away, Donnie. However, nobody knows who the hell I am, so please support the Fights of Ape community. 
the hashtag fight to vape fight to vape life emerald vapors donnie b vaping thank you for having me on the show guys i appreciate it by the way donnie where can we find you at what what social media sites uh you can find me on facebook at uh the group fight to vape be the resistance you can also find me on uh the youtube channel donnie b vaping of course and on facebook as donnie b vaping everything is donnie b vaping and fight to vape on all social media twitter is uh donnie b vaping and so is instagram donnie b vaping are you on Only MySpace? Death. Are you on MySpace at all or no? What's that? My, <laughs> my who? Okay. Okay. My who? <sighs> we really need to hook you up on Pornhub. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, folks. You know who I am. The ST man. So you know where to find me at. Just go looking and you'll find some bad shit on me. But uh, we'll leave on this final thought for the day. If you're out walking around and you see a clown out walking next to you, <laughs> show them some love. Tell them, I love you, man. I love you, clown. You're a special person. And don't hurt anybody. Just hurt yourself. Y'all have a good day. We're out of here. See you next week, Wednesday, 10 a.m. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.